all my friends! Today I'm sharing with you an art therapy activity that's going to involve making a mask. And so today's art therapy directive is going to help you explore who you are inside and outside as well as help you understand who you are and your identity. So if you want to really learn more about yourself and want to engage in a therapeutic activity, this is the activity to go for. So if you have a mask available, grab that. Or if you don't, you can uh, cut out an outline of a face and use that as the mask. So let's get started with the materials. So first, what you need is collage material like magazines or cutouts of images and photos. I brought some pre-cut magazine words and images as well as some magazines underneath. You will also need a Mod Podge or some type of glue, any type of glue. I'm using Mod Podge today and a pair of scissors. You will also need some tissue paper. You also need some type of cup or container to pour your glue or Mod Podge in. Some brushes or sponge and bring any other material that you feel like would be a great addition to decorating your mask. So I'm bringing some sequins, some pom-poms, and some feathers. And last but not least, you will need a um, mask. It could be a pre-made mask like this or you could also cut out an outline of a face on a cardboard or a thick piece of paper. So before we get into the actual activity itself, let's practice a little bit of mindfulness and do some breathing together just so we can ground ourselves and be in a state where we will enjoy the process of making art even more. So sit in a comfortable seat and you can start to close your eyes and really notice how you are breathing at this moment. So notice how you're breathing, if you're using your nose, or if you're breathing through your mouth. And you don't have to change anything about the breathing. Just really drop into your breathing and the sensation of your inhale and your exhale. And once you have really noticed your breath, you can start to relax your shoulders and relax your jaws and relax your face. Just tune into how you are feeling at this moment. And let's take a couple deep breaths together. So breathing in through your nose, deep breath in, and deep breath out. And breathing in again, and deep breath out. Alright, coming back to normal breathing, and now we're going to start the actual activity. So what you're going to do today is you're going to decorate the outside and the inside of the mask. Think of the outside as who you are as the world sees you and how other people view you. So what might they see in you? And for the inside part, think about how you see yourself. What are the things, feelings, and thoughts you might have inside or you only you might know? So kind of express that in here and express how the world sees you on the outside. Thank you. 
And remember, there is no wrong way to do this. And you can also actually vary the materials or supplies a lot, so you don't really have to use the magazines or the tissue paper. And there are many art therapy activities that use masks, so this is just one way that you can. Do mask making, but other times you can use this material to really explore feelings, explore our fears or strengths, and explore our resilience. There are many different types of projects that you can do with masks. Using a mask is perfect as a metaphor for exploring the different aspects of ourselves. I think there is something about masks that really pull us in, and it evokes feelings from us. And if you think about it, it actually has a long tradition in many different cultures around the world. It's a very powerful symbol that. Really helps us share our human experience and what it means to live, what it means to connect and communicate who we are. So as the glue dries, it's going to. Become more transparent, and you'll see the layers of your tissue paper even more. So it's kind of nice to see that in the process. So using collage materials like tissue paper and magazine cutouts. Like we're doing today is a really great project for a lot of people. No matter what skill or background you have, it's really easy to get absorbed in the process. And usually, you find that time goes by really fast because you're so focused in the process of it. Creating this mask helps us express what we haven't been able to express before. It lets us think deeply about who we are and what is the mask that we wear on the outside, and how is that similar or different from who we are inside. And this is the opportunity to really share our real felt experiences. And this project assumes that we all have masks that we wear. That's a normal thing that humans experience as we go about our lives, and it assumes that we have all these different aspects of ourselves that are not seen or seen on the outside. It's okay to have these things, and this creative process just helps us understand ourselves. More express those kind of underlying feelings and unspoken experiences outside onto the world, and really help us accept our different aspects even more. So when you are done with your mask. You can look at your mask in different angles, inside and outside, and really just observe how they are different or similar. And then you can do a little bit of writing or journaling to really deepen your experience of this project. So bring a pen and a piece of paper or a journal you can write in. And write down your responses to these questions. Describe the inside and outside parts of the mask, and how they're similar or different from each other. Second part is 
how do the outside and inside aspects of the mask or of you relate to each other? How are they connected? And third question, what have you learned about yourself through this mask project? Let me know in the comments if you ever tried a mask making exercise or if you are going to try this one out. Thanks so much for following along with this exercise. If you enjoyed it, make sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. If you want more art therapy exercises, you can also download my free ebook, Creative Art Retreat. And the link is in the description box below. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!